On December 9, 2020, SpaceX conducted the first high altitude flight test of a Starship prototype. Starship SN8 lifted off using its three Raptor engines and reached the altitude of 12.5 km. Following this, it performed the important belly flop maneuver and glided towards the landing pad under the control of aerodynamic flaps. SN8 then reignited its Raptors and performed a near perfect landing flip. Everything seemed perfect until it didn't. The pressure inside the liquid methane header tank dropped. Due to this, the Raptor engines didn't get enough methane and combustion became oxygen rich. This resulted in high temperatures and engines started melting from inside, which caused the bright green exhaust we see here. And eventually, Starship SN8 landed with higher than expected landing velocity, resulting in a rapid unscheduled disassembly. So, with this test, it was clear that there needs to be some sort of hardware or software changes in the Starship to avoid the pressure drop inside the header tank. However, SpaceX still continued its rapid development and SN8's successor, Starship SN9, was rolled out to the launch pad in just a matter of two weeks. This meant that SpaceX should have found some sort of solution for this problem. Recently, while answering to everyday astronaut, Elon Musk mentioned that SN9 will pressurize the methane header tank with helium. However, the long-term solution is still under debate and it is not clear what is the lightest or the simplest option. Helium is an inert gas which does not react with other elements under normal condition. This makes it a very good candidate to maintain pressure. In fact, the simplest rocket engine designs, that is the pressure-fed engines, use helium to pump fuel inside the combustion chamber. So, the concept isn't new. However, as Elon Musk mentioned, we need to find the lightest solution and adding helium adds weight. So, in the coming prototypes after Starship SN9, we may see some new internal hardware changes in Starship to address the problem. Currently, Starship SN9 is on Launchpad B and is undergoing ground testing before the high altitude flight test. On 28 December, Starship SN9 underwent an ambient temperature pressure test. In this test, Starship is filled with air temperature nitrogen gas to check for leaks and verify the structural integrity under normal conditions. SN9 passed the ambient pressure test without any issues. Following this, Starship SN9 successfully underwent a cryogenic proof test on 29th December. The exterior of the prototype started to frost as SpaceX filled the oxygen and methane tanks with the liquid nitrogen. This test ensures the structural integrity of the rocket in cryogenic conditions. However, this test did not involve the oxygen header tank situated at the top of the nose cone. This means that either SpaceX will conduct another cryoproof test for the header tanks or SpaceX is confident with this and will directly move to the static fire. In any case, once the structural tests are complete, we will see a static fire test with three Raptor engines. And then Starship SN9 will be ready for the second high altitude flight test of a Starship prototype. We can just hope that the helium will do the trick and hopefully we will see Starship SN9 successfully complete the 12.5 km test flight. Along with Starship SN9, the rocket facility is jam-packed with the future prototype parts, with sections up to Starship SN17 under construction. SN9's successor, Starship SN10 and SN11 are coming along nicely. SN10 is currently in the high bay assembly building undergoing the stacking operation along with the first super heavy prototype, BN1. On the other hand, Starship SN11 is in the mid bay. Prototypes are progressing pretty rapidly and 2021 is surely going to be full of high altitude flight tests and if everything goes according to plan, we may see orbital flight tests as well. That's all for today's video. Do share your opinion on the solution SpaceX came up with in the comment section. If you like the content, do consider subscribing the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.